Okay, so this is like a parody pasta. So, kind of a crappy pasta, but intentionally hilariously bad, I suppose. In the event this becomes a regular thing, this is how it's going to play out. First off, be sure to let me know specifically that your submission is in fact a parody pasta or an admittedly crappy pasta, so that I'm not just destroying your feelings. What I'm going to do is try and get through the entire thing in an overly dramatic, cliche, scary voice without laughing or losing my tone. Let's see how I did. Once upon, there was a girl named Samantha who lived in Arkansas. Samantha was like most kids who go to public school and don't believe in vampires and weird stuff like that. But little did she know that was all about to change. She used to have lots of friends, but all of that changed when a new, prettier girl moved to the school and all of Samantha's friends decided they want to be her friends instead. Well, she wasn't really prettier. Her old friends just thought she was. The school also had a lot of really mean teachers and other adults, like the lunch lady who was fat and had nasty teeth and a mole on her nose, and the teachers liked to give out lots of homework. Every day, Samantha had to finish all her homework before her stepmother get home from the spa and made her clean the kitchen, for she made her do it every night. After Samantha finished her homework and then the kitchen, it was time for bed. Shen went. She then went, got into her bed, and fell fast asleep. That night, she had a nightmare. There was a closet in the big stall of the girl's restroom that was always locked. In her dream, Samantha was at school in her classroom when suddenly a loud noise could be heard coming from the girls' restroom, so loud that everyone could hear it. When they all went to see what it was, the closet inside was broken apart. What could have done this? the teacher asked. I did, a scary voice behind them said, and when they turned around, there stood a vampire. He was tall, with white skin, red eyes, and slicked back black hair. He grinned, showing his long, sharp white teeth. Samantha was reminded of a dog. And then he laughed and lunged at them. Samantha watched as he killed her friends and classmates one by one and drank their blood. Then finally turned to her. I'm too full to drink any more blood for now, but I'll come back for you later. And then Samantha woke up to the sound of her stepmom shouting up the stairs at her. Wake up, you little butthead, your oatmeal is ready. Samantha groaned because she hated oatmeal. Later that day, Samantha was at school. She raised her hand and the teacher called on her. Yes, what is it? What is in the closet in the girl's bathroom? The one that is always locked. The teacher dropped her chalk and gave Samantha a very serious look. Don't ever open that door, she said. If anybody ever reopens that door, they will get an F and a $1,000 fine. Samantha heard someone chuckle. She looked over and saw the bully, Cade. He raised his hand and said, I'm going to the bathroom, teach, and got up and left. Samantha had a bad feeling about this and said, Me too. She hurried to the girl's bathroom, and when she went inside, she found Cade on the floor of the big stall. He died. <laughs> <laughs> he 
She slowly looked up and saw the closet door opened. Oh no, where's the vampire? She asked and left out of the bathroom. When she got out, she realized all the lights were out. This couldn't be good. She hurried back to her classroom, but when she got there, everyone was gone. She looked into the other classrooms and nobody was in them either. I better get out of here, Samantha said, and ran to the nearest school exit, the one that led to the playground outside. But when she got to the door, it was locked. Samantha knew that if she didn't hurry, the vampit would get her too. She ran back down the hall and bumped into the principal. Principal Fishwick, we have to hurry and get out of here, she said. Not until you tell me what you're doing outside your classroom, he said. There's Ev, Empire, and he's going to kill us. Principal Fishwick looked at her and then smiled evilly. Oh, so you found out about the vampire in the bathroom? Well, I bet you didn't know that I work for him. <laughs> and now I'm going to catch you and take you to him. Samantha couldn't believe what she was hearing. But now, the reason that Principal Fishwick always used the girl's bathroom made sense. <laughs> anyway, Samantha ran past him faster than she ever ran before. This was like a nightmare. How could she get out? She ran into the cafeteria where she discovered the mean lunch lady lying on the floor. But unlike Cade, she wasn't dead. She looked up at Samantha, her face now white and blood dripping from her mouth. Her lunch lady uniform had been transformed into a fancy black dress with high heels and a cape. She was a vampire now. She jumped high into the air and was about to land on Samantha, but she hurried out of the way. Finally, Samantha found a door that was unlocked. She ran outside and all the way home as fast as she could. She told her dad and stepmom what happened, but they just laughed and laughed. When Samantha woke up the next morning, she thought it had all been a bad dream and went back to school. It was still dark, but now she saw other people. But something wasn't right. They were all white now and wearing black clothes and capes. What's going on? I, s I sit already Halloween, she said. When the kids saw her, the grabbed her and dragged her to the principal's office. Inside, there was the vampire from her dream, sitting at Mr. Fishwick's desk. Samantha gasped, It's you! <laughs> The vampire laughed evilly and said, Yes, it is. This school is my lair now. I told you I would drink your blood, and now I'm going to. Samantha tried to run, but she tripped, and the vampire began to drink her blood. Soon, she was a vampire just like all the other kids and teachers in the school. And next year... When the new students would come, they would turn them into vampires too. So if you live in Arkansas, beware of which school you go to next year. <laughs> <laughs>